Boys and girls, welcome back. It is 40 here. We're going to be going on and taking on Lakshmi. So I've been holding off on getting her for a little while because I wanted to have an opportunity to kind of actually record the whole process. So, first things first. Where do you get Lakshmi? No problem. When you're in Granola, when you're in here actually, and you actually clear all the way up to the part, I won't give up too much of the story. When you clear up to the part where you actually finish the fight that you have to finish, uh, it's going to be awakened uh, or unlocked at that point. So here it is right here. So once you see the second one, which is the actual village appear, you're going to have to go in there and uh, you're going to have to talk to a dude. You're going to have to talk to this guy. I'll go right to the guy and I'll show you exactly who you need to talk to. There's two actually. You're going to have to talk to a guy in Dougal Village and another person in uh, Underworld Gabareda. Gabareda? Something like that? Gab Gabreda? Anyways, here we are in Granoa. Essentially, what you're gonna do, you're gonna come here, you're gonna talk to this this dude here, this fancy pants. Gold and silver and masterpieces of art. There are even rumors about an esper, but the treasure is what I'm after, and no one knows where it might be. There is somebody in Grabada, uh, though, who knows a lot about the history of this area. Maybe he would know where there might be treasure. So he kind of gives you a little bit of a thing. He hints in there, there's a dude that you need to talk to in that other area. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. We talk to this guy, and we're going to roll back out. And then, we're going to take our sweet booties all the way down to Underworld... Where the hell is it? There it is. Underworld Gaber Gaberada. Sorry, I'm killing it today. Underworld Gaberada. Just gonna get in here. We're just gonna go into this place right here, and then you're just gonna run right up here. And this dude right here is just minding his own business, just sitting there with his thumb in his butt. He's just hanging out. This is the dude you talk to, and he's gonna sit here and he's gonna chat to this guy. He's gonna he's gonna say, "The underground castle belonged to another elven couple in ancient times. Elves love beautiful things and are beautiful themselves and long lived." The castle could still be filled with the beautiful treasures they collected, but it looks like, uh, but it is likely no more than a monster nest these days. Though I suppose if elves really are the long-lived, they could still be living there. So there you go. He tells you this thing, and once you're done talking to this dude, when you walk out, if you find your way out of this crazy maze, you're gonna walk right out. At that point, you're gonna hear uh, the little. It's gonna unlock the path for you. It's gonna show you it. Essentially, there it is, right there. Oh, actually, that's not the one. What am I saying? I lied. It's right there. It's on the opposite side. There it is. Lordless Castle Interior. That's the one you're gonna see. That's where you want to go. When you get in here, you're gonna have a few missions to go through, and then when you get to the Isolated Goddess, that is going to be the Tier One fight. Okay, so we're gonna jump into the Tier One fight in just a moment. Alrighty, so we're gonna jump right in here, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at it. Defeat her with magic, party of five or less, uh, and no continues. That's uh, That should be a pretty easy thing to deal with here, considering that we really don't need to worry about her too much. We will bring, hmm, eh, whatever, we'll just bring Noctis, and then we'll just bump out someone here. This looks like a good party. We'll just bump out our Noctis here, who we really don't need. We will, uh, oopsies, we will re swap and we'll move Noctis. Alright, so this looks, so we got four there and this guy there, we're good. So we're going to go in there and take her on like this. Uh, this is not going to be an actual guide where we're going to tell you how to beat them, especially the tier one. I'm pretty sure you guys will be fine. Uh, these espers aren't normally the, the toughest things in the world. Um, at least the tier one isn't, right? So I'm just going to kind of show you the story. I'm going to unlock them myself and then I'm going to show you what path I picked and give you a little bit of explanation on why I picked that path, as well as who I think Lakshmi is best on. I mean, pretty, pretty sure you guys can figure it out too. Anyways, let's get to it. An Esper? I know this creature, Lakshmi. Is she alive? Why isn't she saying anything? Hey Rain, she seems sad. You're an Esper, right? What are you doing in a ruin like this? I don't need people. What? Boom. Rain, watch out! I will avenge my dear friend. You can pay with your blood. She's going to attack. Wow. This Esper is not talking at all. This is great. Alright, she looks really cool. 
yeah, there's a lot of going a lot going on here. So as we saw here, defeat her with magic, party of fire less. So essentially we're just gonna make sure we cast one magic spell. But before that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Libra this girl. Gotta catch them all, you know? So we're gonna Libra her. Uh, she is a human, not packing a lot of life. She's kind of immune to pretty much everything except blind. You got a 50% chance of blinding her. And all elements are pretty much ready for rolling. So we're gonna go in here. And uh, the magic we're gonna cast is gonna be Alterna for the magic kill. And then we're gonna go in here and do that. Alright? So we're gonna start casting magic. And that should be Plentaru, I hope, Aru. Yeah, so that's plenty. And there is the 4596 for the Alterna for the magic kill. Uh, this is tier 1, so it shouldn't be too difficult to kind of clear this part here. She only has 250,000 life. Alright, let's see what she says. Lakshmi, right? What did we ever do to you? Do not try to act innocent. Children of men always bring war unsatisfied with raising the land. You brought destruction upon us over and over, all out of desire for more dear friends' treasures. I think I began to understand that this castle has been plundered before. The Esper Lakshmi was always known, even back in Palladia, as an Esper with no love for war. After that great war ended, she was full of hatred for humans. She turned her back on them and befriended the elves and lived, uh, lived along lived long alongside them. That's a fun word. Humans die so soon, but with elves, elves would not abandon me so quickly. Ooh, and still, I could not keep them safe at my side. You're a su you're a supporter type esper, aren't you? Wow, they're telling you exactly what you're going to be using this esper for. It isn't it. It is not all that surprising that you could not protect such fragile beings as the elves. Still, it does seem that she is still tormented by the fact that she could not protect her friends. Ooh, we are not the people who attacked your friends. Indeed, nor do we start any wars. Lakshmi, why don't you fight together with us? You will not live long, so it hardly matters. Even if the time you have together is short, does that mean it's worth any, any less? You're, you're too lovely to be so lonely. Oh, Jake. What nonsense you speak. But an esper has little choice but to obey when overpowered. I'm now yours to command. Ooh. That got naughty quick. The expert Lakshmi has joined your party. So that's the loneliness that comes with living so long. I hope traveling with us might help her feel a little less alone. Ooh. Rain's falling in love. All right. So, let's see how we did here. 100 lapis. Okay. Four people. Defeat her with magic. Perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Alright, look at all that good loot. Alright, so now we got her. So, let's go ahead and take a look at her stats. And we're going to level her up, right? So, just hang on tight. Okay, here we are at the Esper page. We're gonna go down here to our friend Lakshmi. We're gonna take a look at her to see what she's going on. So obviously you guys know about the new button here for board reset. Here she is. Um, and overall, for all Espers, if you're new to, if this is the first Esper you're watching, you're pretty much getting 1% of the stats that you see here from the Esper. Uh, and as you're enhancing them, these stats will go up. So the more stats they have, the more stats you'll get from them. So don't get uh, confused with when it says if you get 50 strength. No, no, Lakshmi gets 50 strength. And then you get 1% of that. So don't don't get confused too much about it. So here we go. So this is the training little platform we got here for her. So we're not going to be picking anything up till we get her to level 2 fully leveled up. And uh, then we'll go from there. So let's see if she gets a bonus from any of these. She is not getting a bonus from any. But as you can see, I don't have a lot. Just kidding. I've been saving forever. So we're going to go pick up some of this stuff here. And uh, we're going to figure out how this goes. So I'm pretty much going to pick up all these like low tiers just because. Because I can, I suppose. So just click and hold. And it, it'll speed up. At the start it's a little bit slow. But you can see it's like... It eats more and more to level up. So we're just going to waste these. And the reason I don't want to waste the high tiers yet is because there's other espers that are going to be coming out. That can actually utilize the colors. Whereas she doesn't utilize any colors right now. So I think there's like three more that come out that require like green, violet, or something like that, so since I got so many, it's not a big deal if I dip into them once I waste all the weak stones. Whoops. 
So let's pick up these guys here. Come on, 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we're almost there. I feel lighter already. All these stones out of here. Get out of here, bro. Get. Bye. Thanks for coming. <gasps> Some more. Bye bye. And she's max. 158. So, right now, if you were to equip her on any of our units, we would be getting 32 hit points, 37 MP, 14 attack, 19 defense, 23 magic, and 39 spirit. The spirit is really, really high. This is actually a really nice component about Lakshmi. You can actually put her on a support unit. But when you really need it and you want your tank to survive and they already have provoke in their kit putting her on there for that bonus spirit could be quite beneficial for your tank all right so let's move on to fighting her again so when you get them to three uh level 31 star the next tier opens up so i'll see you guys there in a second so so here i am right by lordless castle interior again so we're gonna click on it here as you can see, a new level has unlocked here for 15 energy called the Trial of the Goddess. So we're going to jump in and take a look. Defeat Lakshmi with Limit Burst, that probably will not happen. Bring 5 people, that will happen. And no continues, that will happen. Um, we will see if I can actually do it or not. I'm a little bit skeptical about being able to generate enough stones without killing her in the first go. I'm sure it can be done. I don't doubt it, but the question, the thing is, is I'm not actually going to go for it. That's the thing. So we'll see how much we gain and how much we do. So this is going to be the four people that we're bringing along. My damage dealer is going to be Orlando more than likely, uh, depending on what her stats are. Uh, I'm going to be using Riku as my buffer support. So we'll see. Okay, it's my first time fighting it too, so there's a small degree of chance of failure because I really didn't look to see if she's resistant to anything or not. Could be resistant to light for all I know. All right. So we're coming back. What's the story, Wishbone? Lakshmi Soro, do you think we've been able to relieve it even a little? What do you feel now, Lakshmi, about our ideals? Your ideals, they're crazy. You do seem to have noble ideals for humans. Yet still, your lives are so fragile, you cannot relieve my loneliness. But you want to lend us greater power? Or isn't that why you called us here? According to our covenant, I will lend you my strength, that is all. Ooh, I like this Esper. She's right straight to the point. Alright, so we're going to do... I don't need to re-look at her because I don't really care. But we're going to be taking the limit burst buff here. I'm going to actually buff to get the block off. And then we're going to do the buff for everyone here. And just because I'm not 100% certain what this crazy lady is going to be doing, I'm going to be buffing uh, the spirit. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the reduction move. Whatever. I'm going to reduce the amount of damage my dudes take. That's pretty much what I'm doing. And then I'm going to break her this round. Just, just Actually, nah, I'm just going to do divine. We'll see how badly she takes it. Mm, a little bit interesting. Oh, 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 she heals herself. Alright. Uh, this might be doable, actually, because this round we can do melee, and I think we might have enough limit burst there. My, my, my! This is intriguing, indeed. Indeed! Limit burst only, eh? Okay. We should be able to do that. She didn't really do anything. Wow, I don't know what the hell I just did. The dual cast. Or not. Or I'm just gonna try and break things. Okay. I don't know why I did double. We will full break her. She can't be full broken. Oh my god, wow, they made this super hard. Oh my god. Okay. Alluring Embrace. Holy Kiraja Banishka. Oh man. Oh man, who's gonna die? Oh, she got full life. Hell yeah, girl. You're killing it. Defense spirit for all. That's really cool. I love this limit burst. Boom. All right. So hopefully this will be plethora of uh, what we want to do. Hopefully. Boom, boom, boom. Should be enough. Yeah. Plenty, 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 plenty. So that's not too bad. She's not really an attacker. Not doing a lot of damage. So that's pretty cool. If you bring it. 
Because she's doing Holy and Banishka and stuff. If you brought a unit that has uh, innate light uh, uh, resistances like uh, Warrior River Light, Sea Soul, and stuff like that, you'll be fine. I wonder if I can become enough to protect you. I wonder too. But I really do like the fact that she just doesn't talk a lot. She's just right to the point. The Esper Lech me evolved. She just can't admit how she feels, can she? She has been lonely for a very long time. Espers live even longer than elves do. To bring her any comfort, she would need a friend who would live as long as she will. Don't we have other espers to give her? Sometimes memories are all that you have to keep you going. They can be comfort to you even if they are memories of a time that passed by too quickly. I hope that we can be something like that for you too, Lakshmi. Wow. Touching. Tear, tear. Tear, tear. Very, very touching. Okay. Let's see all this loot we got. Done, done, done. Okay. I've outdone myself. Normally I just skip these things, but I guess I can show that it's possible. Coolios. All right. All right. So we're going to go back to level her up uh, to two star fully, as well as going to show you the path I'm going to be taking. So hang on to your huggies. Here we go. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. We're going to jump into leveling her up to that final star level-ish thing. Actually, it's not really the final star, because in the Japanese version, I think they're getting three stars now, or actually they already have some espers at three star. So we're going to go to enhance here. We're going to raise the rest of these stones. Whoopsies. Wow, I'm so strong today. Nope, nope. So we're going to raise some of these uh, low tier stones first, and then we're going to pick them up on the other ones as well. Uh, just as we did before, so we'll see how that goes. But I guess in the meantime, while this is happening, I can start kind of talking about what I'm going to be using her for. So, Lakshmi really covers an interesting role, personally, the way I, I feel, but I'm sure you guys feel the same way as well. She is a definite support type of Esper. She's got the capabilities of doing healing, as well as doing some support kind of stuff, like, you know, buffing confused resistance, paralyzed resistance, a bunch of different things, right? So... Naturally, you want to put her on a support unit. However, you can actually put her on a tank that doesn't have healing capabilities, but could be useful for them. And on top of that, because if you can see right now at the bottom here, her spirit is just through the roof. So when you're fighting a casting type of monster where you require a lot of spirit, you're going to probably want to put her on your tank, right? But your tank needs to have naturally in their kit provoke. So if they have naturally in, uh, provoked in their kit, then it's that's a, a viable a way to use her. Right? Otherwise, you could be putting her on a support unit. Even uh, actually, you know what? I probably wouldn't put her on a healer because then you're gonna overlap abilities that you kind of don't need. So let's see here. Which what do we have a lot of? Well, we have a lot of that one there. So we'll do this one. It's on there. Two hundred. Ah, oh, she's level forty. Perfect. So essentially, that's kind of what you want to do. You want to make sure you put her on one of those. One of the few units that can utilize it and you don't want to have abilities overlap like Kiraja or any of those things. So some of the things that are questionable here as you can see here in the top right corner some people will argue that you know if you get banished or stone it's very important because you know you're gonna to have to use an, an item to prevent stone or something like that. Well that that is true however if you're gonna be going into a fight where you premeditated and you know that the unit is gonna be using stone you're more than likely gonna be bringing items that are gonna make you immune to stone so this spell here is not going to be viable i'm not going to be picking it up and that is exactly why i won't be doing it right because you have items to use it if you really really need to but more than likely you're going to probably want to utilize the actual immunity because if your unit is immune you don't have to cast stone at all you can only with the stona you can only cast stona on one unit right if you have dual cast you can cast it on two units but really you're just wasting a turn casting stona for no reason it's really might as well just use an item it's the same thing right and a lot of you have those unicorn horns or whatever the hell they're called to uh to kind of pick it up so i'm gonna start clicking on the ones i want and i guess when i get to something interesting maybe we'll talk about it all right so first one i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go with the hit points and i'm gonna follow this tier up here so people are gonna, you're gonna argue and say you know what this is good or bad but Honestly, all of these abilities here, you're going to want to pick up over that Stona. That Stona is not going to be really worth it. In my opinion, it's not worth it. I have a lot of trust masteries. And in my in my personal situation, the Stona is not going to do anything. While having these other abilities, they're going to give me the additional protection and the additional buffs or like the support is going to be way more viable to me. Especially if it's an AoE thing. 
it's gonna become way 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 more viable to me so looking at these abilities here just the ones i i, I clicked on here Starting from the top here, you have Assuring Protection. It costs 13 MP, it's an AoE, 3 turn, 100% Confuse Resistance buff. That's definitely more valuable than the stone right off the bat. Looking at the next one here, Waking Protection, AoE, 3 turn, 100% Paralyzed Resistance buff. Again, a good value right away. The next one here is going to be Softening Protection, which is, again, same thing, 13 MP, AoE, uh, 3 turn, 100% petrify resistance buff wait a minute stone petrify stone if you're premeditated and you know that they're going to be casting petrify on you forget that stone you don't need that thing it's you it's useless it's doo-doo baby it's useless you don't need it forget it the next one here is though is called demonic whisper demonic whisper is a little bit more uh I don't know, people are questioning it, saying like, maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't, you should get stone instead of that. I'm gonna go with the Demonic Whisper, it's for 12 MP, it's a single target 10 base, 0.3 multiplier of MP return per turn for 3 turns. So you, you're casting on a single unit, that unit will recover MP for 3 turns. This is a phenomenal uh, casting, like a phenomenal ability you can cast on a unit that is lacking MP, right? To me, it, it is a sold, sold deal, sold deal, right off the bat, easy. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. If you don't, and you're just kind of trying to find the reason for it, it's it's a very very good ability, especially if you're missing units that give you refresh, or if you're missing items that give you refresh, or maybe you didn't take advantage of the one year, um, what do you call it, bundle, or you don't have Saluna Ring, or don't have the Vestment of the Mind. Then this is something that you can at least utilize a little bit if you're struggling on MP. You're not gonna get a whole lot, but you're gonna get a little bit, right? So the next part of the chain I'm gonna be going down here is going to be this bottom tree here, right? So it's questionable. People are gonna say you don't really need it. You you know it's it's a waste. But honestly, all the other things are not going to be viable for me. So I'm gonna pick up here. So you're gonna pick up Cure. You're gonna go all the way up to Cura. So like I said earlier, you can put this character uh, put this esper on a tank and then you can utilize that tank's capabilities for actually uh healing which is really really good so cura is not going to be the super most powerful heal but it's definitely nice to have on a, a unit that cannot uh heal you're going to want to have that on them it's 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 viable for having something like that on your healer for sure okay hands down down here i'm going to go with the spirit I'm gonna go with the defense. I'm gonna pick up Mediguard right here. All right, and I'm gonna pick up Regen. I'm gonna go for the Spirit all the way down to Auto Regen. Okay, so there we go. There we go. And auto Regen. That's gonna put us at our final stop there. So this is exactly the way I'm gonna build my Esper till maybe when she gets her three star, and I gotta see what the, what she's got. But this is the way we're gonna build it. Um, do I want to kind of cover that? Okay, so anyways, let's take a look at these other abilities that we got here. So Mediguard, Mediguard is a self, 50 hit points heal with a one times multiplier when guarding. You guard, so as long as the unit who is wearing Lakshmi guards, they're going to get a heal. Okay, it's about 50 hit points, uh, multiplier of, of a 0 0.1. So it's not it's not huge. The next one, obviously, here is Auto Regen, which is going to be, it's cast on the unit who is currently wearing uh, the Esper, and they're gonna get 60 hit points a uh, heal, which is the 1.2 multiplier per turn. So as long, it's just like having regen, just a little bit more powerful on your unit every single time. It's crazy. Having those things on there is just for a unit that you're already you're just taking advantage of it. Rather than picking up these soft skills down here that are just gonna give you a little bit of return, you're getting those long-term returns. One of the reason I personally think this is a very good Esper to have on a tank is because of, like I said earlier, the healing, the spirit, and then having some of these things like guarding, you get hit points back in auto regen, you get some hit points back as well. If you really know how to do tanking properly, if you have provoke up and your tank is doing nothing else, and you know your tank is going to get hit, the best thing you can do with your tank is guard. A lot of people are saying out there, oh, well, make them do something else, like buff your party or do this or do that. If they have 100% provoke on them, there is no point, no reason for you to do anything else other than guard. If you're looking at mitigating damage, 
right? If you want to get more function out of your tank, then yeah, go make them buff or make them do other things. But other than that, you're more than likely going to be in a situation where maybe your, your party is taking a lot of damage and you want to take the least amount of damage. When your tank has provoke up and they're doing nothing else and you have other units that can buff or break or whatever, make that unit guard. And because they're guarding, you're going to be able to take advantage of that medi guard, even though it's a little bit, at least, at least it's something. You're passively healing yourself just by wearing that Esper. Alright, so this is going to be the way I'm going to be building my Lakshmi. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are doing and how you guys are uh, building yours. Did you go the stoner route or did you kind of go the same way I did? If you went the stoner route, let me know why you went the stoner route. Because personally, I think that going all the way and picking up all these abilities here, plus having that softening protection that kind of prevents you from being petrified anyways, making stoner like pretty redundant. But again, it's premeditated if you know that you're going to get it. Stona, again, is worth it if you are going to go in blind not knowing that you're going to get casted stone on you, right? But then again, if you're going to be using it, you can bring those unicorn horns. So let me know what you guys are thinking. That's kind of the way I built her. I think this is probably one of the one of the better ways of building her. These other abilities here are a little bit redundant. Um, the MP is nice, but I don't think it's worth it really because you only get that 1%. So, uh, so let me know. All right, guys. So that's going to be my little mini guide here of picking up Lakshmi, where to get her, uh, leveling her up, and uh, picking the uh, abilities and training her to the what I think is going to be most useful for her. Putting her on that tank or a lot of support unit is really going to be the best place for her right now. And if you guys have any other ideas that could be beneficial, not just for myself, but for others, put it in the comment section below and we'll share with everyone. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. This is Vordy. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.